I'm going to be analysing a movie trailer which is called American Pie as you can see on the screen over here um, the genre of this movie is a rom-com because it's about love and sex and embarrassing moments of teenagers lives it usually includes teenagers doing stupid things hot girls, popular boys, college, school, those sort of things and then you can tell straight away on this movie trailer that what it's going to be about just have a lesson for a sec Just straight away, you can tell from that first second that it starts playing that it's going to be about sex. Cause you, all you hear is a girl moaning. And then on turns to the boy, his name is Jim. Him, yes, masturbate him. You can tell right from that that he is masturbating him. Um, this is usually, well, this is one of the examples that it's going to be about sex. And then, one second, I'm just trying to find a certain bit. Tomorrow will just be some girly, not a space. Right here, right here they're talking about having sex, which is another example that it is going to be a rom-com and that. Um, there's another one near the end, let me try and find it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here. That is trying to persuade Jim to record this girl and obviously he did it because he's a bit silly. Um, if trailers didn't usually have the normal signs that they usually had, it would be a surprise to the target audience when they went to go watch the movie that it wasn't about what the trailer led them to believe that it was going to be more comedy and that or more about love you don't really see that little bit in, in the trailer so it might make them a bit more interested in the movie and it definitely will make it more likely for them to talk to their friends and family about it which would make it more yeah, pe more people would go and watch it. Um, I'd say that American Pie is a multi-strand narrative, which it's shown by mainly Jim's point of view, but it's also about other people's point of view, like this girl's, this guy's, And as a boy, one minute, you never hear from his and hers. It's kind of about all of them and their whole life, and that well, not whole life, but yeah, about what's going on in their life, and it's all connected to Jim, but like. It explains it and goes more in depth by showing what's going on in their life. So you understand conversations between these groups of people a bit later on. Um, and it makes it more informative and more interesting, I think. And it makes it quite simple to understand from an audi audience point of view. Um, the trailer uses a variety of shots to help the audience understand what's going on definitely does. Um, it uses a wide shot here 
Wait one sec. That's the wide shot, which is just showing like how far he's running to get to see this naked girl of his dreams that he's been told is going to be perfect, and it becomes a really kind of embarrassing moment and that. And then, um, they use these sort of shots to help the audience understand what's really going on in this movie trailer type thing. Um, I'm going to give you a few more examples of this. The, as I said before, they use a wide shot to show just how far he's running to get to this girl that he desperately wants. And then they use a wide shot at the beginning. Um, one sec. They use a wide shot right there. Like one second before, they use a wide shot to show that he's in his room and it's like a private moment. And then his mum's just walking in and that and just shows the whole room. Yeah. Um, and then they use a mid shot just before that when he's masturbating here. That's like a mid sh shot. And then um, they use a medium close up when they get to the recording bit. One second. Um, Right there, when she was asking for more, that is like um, a medium close-up. And then they use point of view quite a lot in this trailer of um, here. They're using point of view showing, it's more over shoulder though, showing what he's seeing. And he's seeing this rather old TV. TV. And then a bit later on... When it comes to girls, they're so showing point of view here from this girl and seeing what she's saying, and then it switches back and forth. There. Um, yeah, and they use these for a variety of reasons, like showing what's going on and all of that and they use some like different shots to show different things and make it more interesting for the what the person that's watching it so yeah